Good Thursday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Interstate drivers in the Tri-Cities should be aware of increased traffic. A rock slide in Cock County along Interstate 40 is causing traffic to be rerouted to Interstates 26 and 81. It's expected to take until February 14th to get the affected lanes on I-40 open once again. Until then, upwards of 5,000 extra drivers daily are expected on I-26 and I-81 in our area. A West Virginia-based mining company with several mines in southwest Virginia has issued temporary layoffs. Southern Coal Corporation owns A&G Coal and Virginia Fuel as well as operates mines and offices throughout Lee, Wise, and Dickinson counties in Virginia. Company spokesman reportedly said the layoffs are temporary and were a result of a drop in the coal market. A judge has denied pretrial diversion for a former Hawkins County prosecutor accused of offering sex for leniency to female drug defendants and their mothers. Doug Godby is charged with official misconduct. In December, Special Prosecutor Russell Johnson of Kingston denied Godby's request for pretrial diversion. Godby's attorney then filed an appeal, and that was denied by Judge Dwayne Sloan this week. Southwest Virginia legislator has voted to repeal the state's one-gun-a-month law. Delegate Terry Kilgore, a Gate City Republican, said the advances in technology and the instant background check means such a law basically does nothing to actually stop the illegal sale of the gun. Johnson City leaders expected to vote tonight on funding for a new animal shelter site. Shelter officials want to purchase just over six acres of land on North Roan Street. The price tag, five hundred thousand dollars. City of Kingsport wants to add some pizzazz to its parking garage in downtown. The city asking local artists to submit ideas for decorative banners and benches to add some artistic quality to that facility. Johnson County authorities hope the results of a preliminary autopsy will shed some light into the murder of a county couple. The bodies of 36-year-old Billy Payne Jr. and his girlfriend, 23-year-old Billy Hayworth, were found this week at a home on James Davis Lane, just outside Mountain City. Both had been shot in the head, with Payne also having his throat cut. Sheriff Mike Reese says the motive hasn't yet been determined. It's just undetermined what the motive was for this. Basically, this is kind of a, a quiet family. It didn't bother anybody. Uh, didn't cause any troubles. If there was any drug activity here, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't aware of it. The sheriff is asking anyone with information to call authorities. The remains of a local soldier who was taken prisoner during the Korean War and died will return home to Scott County, Virginia later this month to be buried. Memorial services for Corporal William Sluss will be held at Gate City Funeral Home February 18th at noon. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Thursday.